record to this computer and record here. Oh my, so much technology. Thank you for coming out today and hanging out. We're gonna go, we're gonna do a little bit of light yoga today. We're gonna do the light yoga sequence. Uh, if you wanna do a heavier, you can do vinyasas uh, in between some of the poses or a lot of them, I'll yell it out to you. Uh, I have a story. My friend asked me the other day, he said, do all of your stories have some kind of like moral to the story ending? No, they don't. <clears throat> and, uh, but this story, I don't know why I thought about it. When I was 18, I, I got a job uh, because I was trying to save money, I think to get to Los Angeles, I'm not sure. And I worked at a car wash of all places in the dead of winter in Cleveland, Ohio. And that was, <laughs> that was on the list of jobs you don't wanna do ever again. Um, I have like really distinct memories of it. The guy who, I mean, I was like 18 or 19, the guy running it must've been like 21 or 22. We'd have to be in there and we would hose. Well, why would you wash your car in the winter? In the Midwest, they put uh, salt on the street so that it melts the ice so that you don't crash your car, but that salt goes up onto your car and the metal parts of the car rust very uh, quickly. Cars aren't as metal as they used to be back uh, in the eighties, but they, I, I don't know if they still do this practice. So people wash their car um, once a week. And I made uh, much less than $5 an hour. And I had a car that I drove there that my uncle gave me. It was a yellow, I think it was a Vega or something. And it had a hole in the floor. And when I drove over a puddle, I would have to move my foot so that the puddle would not spray up through the hole and then uh, get my uh, pants wet. Also that car at the end of working at the car wash, I would always spray the cars and then he would make me go to the back where I would stand outside with wet feet and rub the, uh, to have a towel to take the moisture off of the cars. What a job that was. Um, great for stories though. But <clears throat> at the end of the day, that car wouldn't start, uh, my car wouldn't start without, you would have to spray um, starter fluid into the, um, there's the round cap with the filter, and then there's, I uh, can't remember what it's called, uh, but it makes the car start. But after a while, I ran out of starter, starter fluid, and I would just pour a little bit of rubbing alcohol in there, and you'd start the car, and a big flame would come out of uh, that spot, and then the car would start, and I would drive home. And then I moved to Los Angeles, where it, uh, it doesn't get cold, and you don't have to wash your car for the snow. <clears throat> we just wash our cars because we want them to look good. Thank you for coming. And we're going to stay seated. I'm going to back up though, because I don't like this camera all up in my face. And we are going to do a, a somewhat light class today. There will be some standing and I will show you how you can make the class not white if you really, uh, not light, if you really want to make it kind of a, a, a bit of a, a heavier class, that's fine. But we're going to start out with some breathing. So uh, right hand up. The middle finger comes down and the uh, pointing finger comes down and the other fingers are supposed to stay up. You'll see that's yoga in itself because you see when I bring the, well, I can't even do it when I'm not looking, but when I bring the middle finger down, this guy, he wants to follow, but we want to keep him up. So both fingers down. We're going to take uh, the knuckles and put them into the uh, third eye area. The fingers will be here and they will close the left side nostril. The thumb needs to be accessible because we're going to eventually close the right side. I may get a little closer for this one, but firstly, we're going to breathe in through the right. We're going to close both so that thumb comes down. <laughs> if I'm talking funny, we open the left and breathe out through the left. Then back in through the left. Close both, breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right. Close both, open up the left, breathe out through the left. In through the left. Close both, out through the right. And back and forth, please continue.
Just a few more of these. Keep on keeping on. I put weed rub on my foot before I started this. And now it is on my nose because I didn't wash my hand. A little more. Because my big toe is bothering me. Good. Back to center. I'm going to back up a little bit. So for the rest of class, we're going to breathe in and out through the nose as we normally do, which is just a long breath in through the nose and then a long breath out through the nose. So go ahead and uh, I'm going to take my flannel off. We're going to right hand forward, shoulder down. So we want to try to keep that levelness. And we're going to grab the uh, fingers with the other hand and make sure the shoulder stays down because it wants to jump up. And we're going to pull back lightly and we're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. So this is the simplest form of breathing uh, we can do in this here class. But if you want to do the full ujjayi breath, which comes from Astanga Yoga, you restrict the larynx a little bit with your, your neck and throat muscles. So, so it makes that Darth Vader sound. A couple more breaths on this side, please. All right, very nice. Let's uh, switch. So um, left hand out, try to keep that shoulder down. And then we're going to pull back and then again, try to keep that shoulder down and in through the nose, out through the nose. And just deliberate breathing, super long, super strong. Good, so right arm up. We're gonna bring it down the back. The left hand is gonna grab that elbow. The head pushes against the arm and we continue the breath and we try if we can not to stop the breath. I have to stop because I'm talking, but you just wanna continue breathing the whole time. In and out through the nose. The breathing is super powerful and awesome. I'm gonna to try to go real slow today. All right, let's uh, switch. So left arm up and then down at the back and grabbing the elbow. If you feel flexible enough or warm enough, you can bring the uh, hand behind the back and introduce the hands together. I'm not going to do that. You can though. Head back against the arm, breathing in the nose. Just a little more, a couple more breathing. All right, so those of you that want to can put the hands down, do push up, uh, vinyasa up dog and down dog. The rest of us are going to put the legs out with the toes pointing forward, with the hands uh, behind us, fingers pointing towards the feet. We're going to lift the hips up and look at the ceiling. We'll do a lot of these reverse uh, planks. Every time we reverse plank today, you are welcome to instead do vinyasa. I'll do the next one with you in case you don't know what I'm talking about. And we're going to come back down. Once down, we're going to bend the right leg. Uh, we're going to push that knee down if you like. I have a strap out today. If you want to use a strap or a belt or a rope, it might be useful. But if you can get the toes, great, get the toes. If not, strap or just grab the shin. We're going to do dynamic moving with the breath. We're going to breathe in and reach up. And we're going to breathe out and close it all down. And then all the way back up again, breathing in. And all the way back down. So please, over and over. 
Out breath on the downward fold. Breath in, up, breath out on the downward fold. Good, let's keep moving. Great, next time you're up, go ahead and stay up and we're gonna to look to the reaching hand. We'll continue breathing though. Good, let's uh, switch it. So right leg out, uh, left sole in. So right on right, again, you can grab the shin if that's more feasible or a rope or a strap around the foot. If you can get the toes with the legs straight, great. We're gonna breathe in and reach up. We're gonna breathe out and fold it all down. And then up again, breathing in and folding it back down over and over. On the out breath, we forward fold. On the in breath, we reach opening up through the chest. Good, next time you're up, we're gonna stay up. We're gonna to look to the uh, reaching hand and breathe here. So if you wanna take it easy, which I'm gonna do the rest of the class, you reverse plank. Otherwise, those of you that want to, I'm gonna do one vinyasa with you, putting the hands down. And you can do this between the poses while we're doing the reverse plank. We lower down, up dog and then down dog. And then we sit from reverse plank or the vinyasa bringing these soles of the feet together for our uh, Baddha Konasana. Left hand uh, grabs the uh, small toes, right hand on top of that. We're gonna sit up really tall with like you're against the uh, back wall. So your back is straight up and your head's on that wall. We're looking straight forward. You're welcome to uh, butterfly the legs if you like, or just stay still, which is I'm gonna do. And we're gonna do long breathing. All in the nose. On your next out breath, let's fold forward. And I'm, for me, I'm not bringing my face to the feet anymore. I don't like the way it arches my back. You're welcome to. I'm bringing my heart towards the feet so that I can keep my back kind of straight and keep my shoulders a bit back and it gets more in my thighs. And then I come down, it's harder for me too. And uh, we're gonna breathe here, long breathing. You're welcome to bring the face if that's what suits your body needs, but I'm trying to lengthen out so the heart is coming down towards the toes. Long, deep breathing, all in the nose, restricting the throat if you care to. Good, up, those of you that want a vinyasa, put your hands down in vinyasa. The rest of us are gonna do feet straight out, pointing the toes, hands behind us, reverse planking. Enjoy the vinyasa anytime you like. Look at the ceiling, we'll hold here for a couple breaths. 
Good. And back down. Cross the legs. Now you can just turn the feet in. I'm just doing this because it's comfortable for me. I wouldn't uh, advise it to anyone necessarily. We're going to do some twisting. So we'll put the hands on the uh, shoulders. And we're going to take a breath in as we look to one side, twisting the torso. And as we breathe out, all the way over to the other side. So the head doesn't move, the torso moves, and the head goes with it. You can bring the arms up in a goddess uh, posture if you like, or you can come all the way out, which is a lot of leverage. Be careful with that. If you find one spot that is uh, your tight side, the right or the left, breathe out on that side. And then in on the other side. Good. Right hand grabs a uh, left knee, left hand either right behind you, pulling the left shoulder back, looking back, or coming all the way around, grabbing the pocket, the leg, or if the foot was there, you would grab the foot. Lengthen up through the spine, look gently back. We're going to breathe here. Great, let's come all the way around and over to the other side. Left grabs right, right hand either behind you or around grabbing the shirt or your pocket or if there was a foot there and we breathe here. Good, back to center. You're welcome to vinyasa. I'm going to reverse plank. Everyone else can reverse plank too. We're gonna to lift up and look at the ceiling. Good, back down. We'll cross the legs again and we'll do a couple other pieces of both of these are from Kundalini. Hands on the uh, knees, uh, straight spine to the crown of the head. We draw a big circle on the um, ceiling. Breathing in the nose. Good, and reverse directions, which always trips me out. As soon as I start to reverse directions, I always feel like, uh, am I really reversing? And did I really reverse or is it the same? A little bit more, this one, please. Good, uh, back to center. We're all gonna come to uh, the belly so that we can, I'm gonna do it from the side here, so that we can do uh, some cobra and child's pose. Those of you that prefer to do uh, up dog and down dog are welcome to, but it might be nice to do a couple of the cobra and child poses just to feel it. So for cobra, the hands are just outside of the shoulders. The elbows are pulling in a bit, but we're not pushing onto the hands. We're tightening the legs, lifting up, looking third eye, and then knees down, we push the hands. The knees are far enough apart so the body can fit down. Lengthen the arms out to the ends of the finger, and we'll take a couple breaths in child pose, which is real nice opening of the lower back. So a couple breaths here. Good. 
So we're going to slide all the way forward to do a cobra again. So point the toes, tighten the legs, look up third eye. And then again, knees down, we push back into child's pose. Good. Lengthen the fingers, lengthen the top of the head, lengthen the breath. Good. Again, remember you're welcome to do uh, up dog and down dog instead. So back forward and cobra, pointing the toes. And then knees down, pushing again. Child's pose. A few more breaths here. We're going to do one more after this. Good. For this last one, let's all come top of push up. And we'll all do our vinyasa. So, top of push up, tighten the belly and the legs, lower down, up dog, tight legs, third eye. Down dog, up and back, and then good. Let's come down to hands and knees. We're going to do some cat and cow just for a little bit here. And I'm going to go sideways. You'll see hips over knees, shoulders over wrists, third eye looking. This is the breath in with the belly down, breath out as we arch the back. Good. Back to center. Look over the right shoulder. See the tail. We'll revisit this a little later. And then over to the other side. See the tail again. Back to center with the toes being down. We're going to push ourselves up to being on the knees. We're going to take the thumbs and put them into the lower back, pulling our elbows back so that they're pointing straight back. And you can look at the ceiling. If you feel like your back is flexible enough, this is camel pose, you're welcome to put the fingertips on the heels, tighten the legs and look up. We're gonna take a few breaths here. Good, back down, little cat and cow to work that back out after that stretch. I cannot do camel without doing cat and cow afterwards. It's a whole, it's a zoo. Camel, cat, cow. Good, back to center, look over the right shoulder, see the tail. And then over to the other side, see the tail again. Good, and back to center. Let's please step the right foot top of the mat, keep the left knee down. Good, we're gonna reach the uh, arms all the way up like a big uh, V. We're gonna breathe here. Let the hips hang down so that we're stretching through the uh, left quad, even it moves up into the uh, abs a little bit. Let's breathe. Good. We're going to take the left elbow, putting it outside of the right leg. Hands in prayer, pull in towards the chest. You see my shoulder kind of went back on the right one too, so that I'm stacking the shoulders. Turn the fingers up towards your face. Now you can stay here looking at the uh, foot on the floor or to where the elbow is pointing. You can also come onto the ball of the left foot, straightening your back leg, and we're going to breathe here. Good, let's switch sides. Those of you that want to can sneak a vinyasa in there, but otherwise 
left foot top, keeping the right knee down, back up with our big funnel. And breathing here, letting everything come, letting everything go, breathing in the nose, scratching my elbow. Good, let's bring that right elbow all the way outside of the uh, left knee here. See the knee is gonna stay right over the ankle. So even if there's tension here, hold the leg like cement, pull those hands in, turn the fingers up to your face. If you wanna roll back on the right uh, ball of foot like so, you're welcome to. You're welcome to, I'm gonna keep the knee down. You can look at the foot on the mat or up to where the elbow is pointing. And of course we breathe here. Good, back to uh, hands and knees. If you want to do a vinyasa, you can probably sneak one in really quick. We're switching again to right foot stepping. You can get that length again, so the quad uh, lengthens and then hands straight up. And we breathe here as the hips hang down. Good, let's bring those hands right down on the inside. So the right hand will be right inside of the right foot. The right knee pushes against the shoulder. We really just look at the floor and breathe. You could walk the hands forward and try to put the elbows down or even walk them forward and just bend the arms and be on the direction of elbows down. But anyways, we're breathing and staying here. We're gonna switch if you wanna sneak a vinyasa in. Left foot top of the mat, arms ultimately straight up, breathing here. Very nice, hands down right on the inside. We're going to pull the knee against the shoulder. You could walk the hands forward and put the elbows down. Please keep breathing. Good, step back, vinyasa if you like, but the rest of us, I'm gonna, I love this one. We're gonna turn the right hand in to face the left. And you want, again, the shoulder over wrist and the hips over knees, knees which are two fists apart. We're gonna feed the left arm through, laying down. And we're gonna push the right hand against the mat, rotating further back. That's best for me. Some people like to come up with the arm and come around the back and grab the leg. I'm going to stay with the hand down breathing. Good. 
Good, back up. And let's do the other side. Left hand is turning in. We're gonna feed the right arm through, laying down here, and we breathe. Good, back up, push yourself up to standing. And we're gonna do horse, the toes splayed out, the knees opening, or we're gonna hold the uh, sun or the moon or the earth, it's your choice, over your head, like a beach ball. We're gonna breathe here super long. It'll be like a rest, put the hands on the knees, put some weight there. On an out breath, rotate the right shoulder forward, back up. On your next out breath, left shoulder forward. A couple more of those on your own. Good. Full standing, we're gonna do a right foot turning forward for warrior two, left foot turning out, and we're gonna bring the arms out and then bring that uh, knee just over the ankle. Well, we're gonna do warrior two in a dynamic way. So straight that leg and then back out, but still see the toe, so don't go out beyond the ankle. Straight that leg and back out and straight that leg and back out, we're gonna hold. Breathing here. If you ever get a chance to try doing yoga without a mat on a rug, it's a whole different gig, very interesting. My first trip to India, they didn't have yoga mats. Thankfully, I brought one, so I had to try the, the carpet stuff. Uh, very difficult. Good, straight that leg. We're gonna pivot right toes in, left toes out and bend the leg now here uh, on the left over the ankle. And we're gonna do dynamic again, so straight that leg. And then down, straight the leg. And down, pushing into the outside edge of the back foot, straightening the leg. And down, and straight the leg. And we bend again and we hold, breathing here. Good, straight that leg, let's pivot again, left toes into 45, right toes out, both legs straight because we're going to do pyramid, reaching out, right hand, right hand on the shin, left arm up, maybe looking up, breathing here. Good, back up, let's pivot again. Right toes up to 45, left toes out. We're gonna reach out over that left foot and triangle on the left side, left uh, hand on the left shin or palms facing out and away. Here is great. And we breathe, you can look up to the reaching hand if it, does, if it bothers your neck, look to the foot on the floor and all breathing all the time.
Good. Back up. Let's pivot again. Left toes to 45, right toes straight out. Warrior two bending the right leg again, but this time we're going to take the center of the right arm for our extended side angle. Long reaching, breathing here. I think I don't need to be so far away. There we go. We're looking at the ceiling, unless the right hand is down, then you look slightly to the reaching hand. Good, back up. We're gonna turn the right foot into 45, left out for the base of warrior two, and then we take the uh, left forearm on the leg, right arm up and over. Just stay here, or you can put that uh, left hand on the ground. Breathe in. Looking to the ceiling or the reaching hand, if the hand, uh, the left hand is on the ground, we look to the right reaching hand. Good, back up, let's turn both feet straight forward. We're gonna reach straight up and straight down with the fingertips on the toe line. You could put the palms down if you like. We're gonna let the head drop down. Let the spine drop. Tell your back to let go if you feel like having that conversation with your back. That's what I'm telling my back. Let go. Breathing. Up again, let's reach out to the ends of the fingers and then we will bring the hands behind the back, intertwining the fingers, pushing. Well, if you push the palms together, it's a little harder, but it's better for the upper back. It's kind of reliefs the tension there, but you could have them apart. So as I come up, you can see that apart, but I'm gonna push them together for the upper back relief and we're gonna breathe here. Good, back up, touch the sky, touch the ceiling, and back down, grab the shins, the ankles, or the big toes with the peace fingers. If the legs are straight, pull the elbows away from the ears, bring the top of the head down. It's okay just to hold the shins. We're gonna breathe here. Let's stay down low, both hands over to the right. Left shoulder rotates down, under, and through. And walk across with the fingertips on the ground over to the other side. Good, back up and let's stand. And just take a moment. Big toes together, maybe thumbs out, tight core, breathing in the nose. We'll do a few of our balancing poses. I'll try to stick to the uh, not too crazy ones. We're gonna stand uh, on the left, bring the hands to the heart. We'll lift the right foot up just for a couple of counts of uh, warrior three. Those of you that like left hand down, right arm up for Ardha Chandrasana. Good, let's stand. I'm gonna shake the legs out a little bit. And then hands to heart again, standing on the right. And we're gonna lift the left, 
for a little warrior three. Taking it easy, breathing, listening to the body, listening to the breath coming in and out of your nose, controlling it. Woo! Right hand down, left arm up, almost fell over. Arnishandrasana. All right, let's stand again. You could shake it out a bit. We're gonna do tree standing on your left foot. We're gonna lift the right. You can grab the ankle and really get it up there high enough so it's not pushing on the knee. Hands to the heart or all the way up. I like the heart. We're gonna breathe. Excellent. Let that down. Step it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's do the other side. I didn't realize I had my Christmas outfit on, my green and red. All right. Here we go. Tree standing on the right. Christmas tree. Good, let that down, step it out a little bit. We stand again, uh, please, on the left foot. I'm gonna come a little closer for this one. We're gonna lift the right knee up, but the left hand from the other side is gonna come over and grab the knee. You can put the, hand, the right hand on the hip if you like and stay here. You could reach back, you could look back. You could come down with the peace finger and grab the big toe, extending the leg out. You could just stay with the hand on the hip holding the knee. We breathe here. Good, let that down, step it out. Let's stand on the uh, right. We lift the left. Right hand grabs the knee, other hand on the hip. You could stay right here. You can reach back, you can look back, grab the big toe. We're gonna breathe. Good, let that down, out and down. And one more today. Standing on the left, we're gonna bend the right leg and just grab the ankle. And I'm gonna go back so you can see it fully. We're gonna reach the uh, right knee way down, hold the core in a bit, and then reach the left arm straight up and we'll breathe here. If you wanna do a King Dancer, you're welcome to, uh, but this is a, a nice and simple for us tonight and breathe. Excellent, let that down. You can step it out a little bit if you like and let's stand on the right. We grab the left ankle, straight up with the arm, straight down as if the knee is reaching to the floor. Hold the core, breathe.
Excellent. Let that down. Uh, feet apart, distance of the hips or shoulders. Let's squat. Good. We're going to stay here in the squat for a few breaths. So you can put the elbows against the knees. I like the hands in prayer. So when, if you kind of push the hands against each other and lengthen up to the back. So we're pushing the legs open and lengthening the spine. We're gonna breathe here. If you wanted to do headstand or crow or anything, you could, but let's just stay here and take a few breaths. All right, down onto the rear ends. So, we're doing our normal uh, core sequence. I want you to really think about breathing one and two, pulling those shoulders back. So again, like cobbler, there's a tendency to kind of do this horrible hunchbacky thing. Let's try not to do that. So uh, under the uh, legs, the arms are gonna come and we're gonna roll back under the tail. So you could stay here. And then as you reach out, you can pull those shoulders back. It makes the pose more difficult but it's better for your back and breathe. You can also straight the legs, hands are prepared, throw it out of the toes, but don't let the uh, shoulders disappear. Keep those pulling back. We're gonna breathe here. Go across the legs, grab the shins, back straightens again to the crown of the head. And two of five, back up. It's okay to keep the legs bent if you want. We are taking it a little bit easy tonight. At least we didn't do a bunch of push-ups. Lost the legs, sit up really tall. Very nice. Number three, back up. Cross the legs, sit up tall. And number four, pull those shoulders back, breathing in the nose. Eyes open, looking at the toes. Cross the legs, sit up really tall. Woo! Do we really want to do five? Yes, okay. Good, hug the knees in. Just so you know where we're going, we're gonna do a thread the needle, which is kind of uh, like a upside down uh, version of pigeon. You're welcome to do pigeon if you prefer. That's what we normally do, but otherwise lay down and we're going to lift the right leg up and the right ankle is going to sit down just inside that left knee, down the left knee a little bit. The right hand on the same side of the leg that is up is going to feed through both legs, grabbing the shin or the underside of the leg. The other hand is going to meet it. Keep your head down, flex the feet, which means bring the toes towards the shins and let's breathe here. Good, let that down. Let's do uh, other side. Left leg up, down, ankle just down the uh, right knee. Hand on the same side, left, feet through, under the leg or the shin. Head down, flexing toes, breathing in the nose.
Good, unwrap, unwind that. Uh, both feet down, we're gonna do bridge. Those of you that wanna do Urdhva Dhanurasana are welcome to. Longest finger can almost touch the heel, but not quite. Knees about a basketball apart and the uh, heels as well. We lift up, tuck the shoulders, intertwine the fingers, push the arms on the ground and the hips to the ceiling and we breathe here. Very nice, back down. You can grab the shins and bring the nose up to the knee, both knees even. Good, so this last couple of parts here, we're gonna go against the wall and I'm gonna go and demo it, but I wanna tell you first, we're just gonna put our feet up the wall, laying down with our arms out, our head down. It's a really great pose. Uh, we maybe don't even do it enough, but we're gonna do it tonight. Um, so, and you can also put them on the couch or up against whatever, just so that your feet are raised above your heart. So I'm gonna go way back and we're gonna take a long hold on this. If you prefer to do shoulder stand, you're welcome to, but otherwise we're getting close to the wall, then feet up the wall, and then arms out. And you could even bring the legs out if you wanted the inner thigh to stretch, but I'm just gonna do straight up today. Really try to relax the back and really breathe, and we're gonna stay here. About 30 more seconds, just breathing and relaxing. Good, and let's roll off the wall. And get yourself comfortable laying down. If you have a belt or a strap or a rope or a towel that you can wrap around your foot, it would probably be nice and useful. You don't have to. I'll, you can just hold the back of your leg or if you're real flexible, you can hold the uh, big toe with the peace fingers. We're gonna strap the uh, right foot with the towel or whatever you got. The left leg stays out, the head is down. We hold the leg up with the hand and again, you could just come behind the leg uh, holding the calf, but a strap is very useful uh, on this pose. And we'll take a few breaths here. Good, allow that uh, leg to fall out to the right as you reach out and look out to the left. Up to center, we're gonna switch hands on the leg or the strap and then the hip will come up as the right leg goes all the way over to the left and we look out to the right, breathing here. And back up to center, both hands up towards the heel. The head will come off the ground now, so you bring the nose to the knee. Great, let's release that. 
We'll strap the other foot or hold the other leg. So left is up, left on left, left hand either on the strap of the leg, right leg down, flat, breathing, head down, shoulders down. Let that leg fall out to the left as you reach out and look to the right. Back up, switch hands on the leg so the right grabs left strap or foot or back of the leg. Hip comes up, left side reaching out, looking out. Back up, both hands up towards the heel. The head will come up, so the shoulders will come up. Good, and everybody lay all the way down. We're gonna put the hands on the belly with the longest finger touching. And when you the body breathes in, that longest finger comes apart. And then as the body breathes out, it comes back together. And we're going to stay here and witnessing the breath for about five minutes. And I'm going to change the lighting. Relax your shoulders. Be aware of the breath with the physical movement in your hands.
Very nice. You can move the fingers and toes a little bit if you like. And reach the hands way up over the top of your head. Get as long as you can, fingers to toes, and pull the core down against the uh, mat and the floor and the core pulling against your lower back. Bring the uh, knees into the chest. and roll yourself up to a seated position. Once sitting, we bring the hands of the heart center. We're gonna rub them together a bit, as we always do. I forgot to turn that light off today. It looks all right. And all the way up with the arms, we're going to take a big breath in. We're going to breathe in more. We're going to breathe in more. We're going to hold the breath. We're going to hold the core and the legs tight. And then with the sound, letting everything go, let everything out. You're living your dream. Don't miss it. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. It's danieloverberger.com. You can find my Venmo and my PayPal um, links there. So you can send donations for the class. Thank you so much. Thank you, Terry. And uh, that is it. We do this every Monday and uh, Wednesday at 7 p.m. LA time. And let me stop the recording here.